In addition to the header layout, Utheme Pro can display menus and widgets published in the dialog widget area, in a drop bar, off canvas sidebar, or a modal window. But first, let's publish a menu in the dialog area. And as you can see, a toggle icon which opens the dialog automatically appears in the layout. Also, let's publish a widget in the dialog area. Now let's go back to the header panel. Select the layout for the dialog area. In my case, I have an off canvas top layout. Here, the items are displayed at the top of the off canvas sidebar. All layouts have an additional option to center their content horizontally. Dialog layouts have an option to push widgets published in the dialog area to the bottom of the layout. Just choose the number of items after which the following items are pushed to the bottom. You can also select the position for the dialog toggle. You can show it at the start of the navbar area, the end of the navbar area, the start of the header area, or at the end of the header area. Optionally, you can show the menu text next to the icon. Instead of using the off-canvas top layout, you can also select the off-canvas center layout. Here, the items will be displayed in the center of the off-canvas sidebar. For the off-canvas layouts, you can choose between the slide, reveal or push mode. In the slide mode, the off-canvas bar will slide on top of the page content. In the reveal mode, the page content moves out of the viewport, revealing the off-canvas bar underneath it. And in the push mode, the off-canvas bar pushes the page content out of the viewport. Additionally, you can define if the off-canvas bar opens on the right, as in our case right now, or on the left. And finally, enable or disable the site overlay. An overlay will prevent navigating and scrolling the page when the off-canvas sidebar is open. Instead of using the off-canvas layouts, you can also use one of the modal layouts. Here, the items will be displayed at the top or in the center of the modal window. Modal layouts have an additional option to define the width of the modal content. Finally, you can also choose one of the drop bar layouts. Here, the items are displayed at the top or in the center of the drop bar. The drop bar stretches to the full width and height of the viewport, but does not overlay the navbar, so navbar items remain clickable when the drop bar is open. Just like with the modal layouts, drop bar layouts have an option to set their content width. Additionally, you can set the drop bar animation. For example, you can set it to fade so the drop bar fades in, slide top so the drop bar slides in from the top revealing its content, or slide left or right. Here the drop bar and its content slide in from the left or right. If the drop bar slides in from the left or right, 
You can optionally select the drop bar width. 